turn with me to Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which translated means God with us. That's the only verse that I'm going to use, and now I'm about to rent. Every Christmas season, you have a group of people that want to steal the platform and accuse the most sacred time of the year as being a pagan holiday. They have allowed themselves to be derailed by everything that Christmas is not and they forget about everything that Christmas is Emmanuel God with us now regardless of what school of thought you're from whether you think Jesus was born on December 25th or whether you believe he was born sometimes in September because if he was born sometimes in September that means concession took place in December 25th Emmanuel God with us if he was born in September, still Emmanuel, God with us. Prophecy fulfilled, a virgin gave birth. Now these folks allow themselves to get consumed with Christmas trees. And they always want to talk about the verses that talk about not worshiping a tree. But they ignore the fact that God compares himself to a fir tree, which is an evergreen tree. They leave that part out. You know why? Elsa Jesus. They want the scriptures to say what they wanted to say. Now I don't understand why any Christian can allow him or herself to be derailed by the one of the most precious things that takes place in the Christian Bible. Emmanuel, God with us. From a virgin birth, Mother Mary, the Blessed Mother Mary honored amongst all women of the world okay when this took place it set aside Jesus from all other births in the universe alright it put the redemption plan into action to save us from our sins. It took a virgin birth for this to happen. The fulfillment of Isaiah and all the other passages to speak of a virgin birth. Okay? So Christmas rolls around and it's the same posts that pop up. It's the same people running around on Facebook and other social media places. It's the same old folks that takes all this external information. And, you know, in theology school, they teach you two things. They teach you internal information, everything in the Bible, external information, everything outside the Bible. And they allow this external information to be their concrete source of spiritual direction. You can't do that. Now, yeah, sure, nobody said for us to celebrate the birth of Christ. But guess what? Emmanuel, God with us. And every Christian that loves the Lord recognizes this as a holy time of the year. Do you know how many people commit suicide during the Christmas season? Do you know how many suicide takes place around this time of the year? Do you know why? Because Satan is busy driving people to commit suicide while Christians sit up and talk about, well, this is a pagan holiday. You ain't supposed to celebrate Christmas because it's a pagan holiday. You worship in a tree. Well, let me tell you something. I grew up in a Christian family. We ain't never know down worship no tree. So where are they getting their information from? 
know what I'm saying? Stop it. Just stop it. Take all this external information that has blinded you from what Christmas is all about. Emmanuel, God with us. Amen, amen, amen.